Hello everybody, Denise here, Junk Journal Junkie UK. So I'm here to start the Flower Fairy Journal with you guys. Um, I showed you some of the papers yesterday um, and we've been making bits of ephemera for the last week or 10 days. So I'm going to share with you um, the finished bits that I've stitched up and then we're going to start putting some of the pages together and I'm going to share the cover with you because I have made a start on it, nearly finished it actually. So first things first though, uh, on the video yesterday, which was this morning for me, I just had a go at using up some bits that I was tidying away on my desk, if you remember, to make a folio for a couple of small um, journal type things that I'd, I'd been playing around with and was on my desk. So I said I'd show you it when it was stitched and finished. Not quite finished because I haven't found anything for the fastening yet. I haven't decided what to do with the fastening. I have put a couple of um, eyelets in but that's as far as I've got. So this is what it looks like stitched around. I don't even know if you'll be able to see the stitching or not. And if you remember I made a bit of a boo-boo and I've got the opening on the left instead of on the right but it doesn't doesn't mess with it at all and I might just get it out and you know put a few more bits on it when I've got time but for now I'm happy with how it turned out so the two I put two pockets on the on the um, franking paper if you remember to keep the books in the journals that were half made so that that navy blue toned it down quite a bit uh, as well as the stitching around the cotton in the middle and I just put a bit of uh, lace, spare lace, on the outside of that one because I'd done the three, three stitch pamphlet stitch on it. Got some pretty pages in it. Yeah, so that one goes in the front and then uh, because there wasn't an awful lot of journaling space in there and I haven't filled it with anything, it's a naked journal. Um, I had this on my desk also half made. So I just finished it, actually I just stitched it on the sewing machine I just ran down it and did a zigzag to put it all together for actual writing notes or whatever or tearing out and that's a bit more glue on it I'll do that while I spotted it um, again I just put a little bit of spare lace cut off lace that was already cut in my little box down the side just to pretty that edge up and make it match with that one I won't put that back in now it's wet um, so came together okay don't think it's a bad bad little folio at all so I was pleased with that I had fun making it and it's now on the floor and it's uh, turned out okay okay so flower fairies can't wait so there's a couple of my postcards I think I dug four out of the box if you saw my little f flower fairy haul um, I've got 42 of these postcards and I went through and dug four out that I thought went with the papers that I'd chosen. So the sort of the creamy, pinky, peach colours. So I've picked those four out. I'm going to show you my box that I've got everything in, in a moment. The papers uh, I shared with you, I think it was yesterday, if not the day before. So all I've done is trimmed off the, uh, the white because the border because it didn't print borderless and folded them in half so I haven't decided what goes where all I've done is trimmed them and folded them and I've pulled out a doily to go in amongst them as well so I've got those papers ready these are just three spare that are not backed if I want paper to make things as we're going along from the kit and the kit is uh, Botanicals Ivy by Janie B Journals I couldn't remember what it was called. Botanicals Ivy. So there are my pages. I'll move my spare paper out the way. Now this is my box. So in here I've got a little basket with all the ephemera that's already been made. I'll just go through it with you in a minute. Um, let's get it out. Move this one away a minute. So all the ephemera that we made, I think mostly together and some other bits that either came with the kit or that I had that went little journaling cards and things like that and um, I've backed them one or two of them uh, still need trimming but and all that's left in there are fussy cuts okay so I'll put those postcards in because these are going back in so that I cut off a project yesterday you probably saw 
don't know what it's going to be but I mean all this won't go in the journal necessarily and I've definitely definitely got more than enough to make two journals probably even three I'll just need more background papers so the three belly bands slash um, side tucks that we made from the snippet use up me scraps making snippets so all I've done is back them on some pink card to make them a bit sturdier so I can trim the pink card off or leave it as as I wish so we've got three of those you should this you didn't see me make it's just a piece of paper that came out of some shoes that I bought sort of glassy niche type but a bit not quite a see-through so I just made like a little bag um, yeah that's just out of my stash it hasn't got any fairies or anything on it I think it could have been something that we made with um, using up the scraps we did this with using up the scraps I think a little corner tuck and then the two envelopes using up the bases that's what it was I've got thread from somewhere there it is so the two envelopes that came out of the one big one that I cut in in half and we did together I've just stitched around them and yeah these I believe we did four I think we did four yes these four flower fairy journaling cards using up your bases I think we did that one you haven't seen it's just out of a book I just have I backed it yeah I've just backed it on a thin piece card it wants trimming round but I've stitched it and put a tab on that is a yeah it's a fairy from an old fairy tales book not um, not from flower fairies so I am going to have some fairies in here that's not flower fairies so I made a couple of those the other one will be here somewhere I think with you uh, so toppers possibly for front of covers or in your journal the envelope out of the book page that gorgeous book it hasn't come yet if you remember I've cut mine up and I'm waiting for another one it should be here any time now these tucks I was really pleased with these actually flip outs I think not tucks yeah I love that hand dyed paper that I did it's uh, it's really set them off and I did put the stickles on it um, an envelope that I made in the style of Roxy, one of the Roxy Creations Challenge, Rachel's Challenge. I haven't made a tag for that yet, so we need to make a tag to go in it. Um, this one we did together, I believe. Using up scraps, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think we did do that one together as well, but a while ago. So that's... that's that uh, large journal card nothing on it much apart from the fairy in the corner same here flower fairy in the bottom large tag oh there's another one of those fronts that we made that was a big one so a journal cover possibly and then ah oh, that's just been put in there I've used another one of those on the cover you'll see it in a moment it's um, one of Artie May's freebies from her Facebook group so these came with the kit, the Janie B kit, the uh, paper. So I just backed them and stuck them in there because we might use them for filling. Three little cards, I haven't even backed those yet. Came with the papers. Um, let's just do the ones I know. Yeah, so these are three out of the Little Flower Fairy book. Uh, the Treasury, this one, if you remember, I showed you the other day. And I've just stuck them on some and a greeny blue card then they trim in round yet this one here is a another freebie from caroline's craft tree i just remember seeing it in my stash with the fairy in the mason jar so beautiful um again that needs trimming round i've just stuck it on a i think that's from g kerr pretty sure it is um that's something I had left from a kit by Tina at Shabby Dabby Doo Dow. Lovely lavenders, I think. Again, these are not, I haven't matted them. I just haven't cut round them yet, trimmed round them or stitched them. I might stitch them. And yeah, two more journaling cards that need something on them out of the fairy tale book. That lovely, I think I shared that one with you, that lovely fairy having a bath in the teacup. Um, so these, I believe, hope I'm right are uh, from home book and treasure I've had a while 
a little fairy kit. I just thought I'd back those and stick them in. So that is all the ephemera uh, that we've collected together so far. These are backed and not cut out yet. There's a couple of pockets from the kit. That's from the home book. That's an envelope again, once trimming round and folding. I've just backed them to make them a bit stronger. I just printed it on ordinary printing paper. So that's from Home Book and Treasure with those other fairy tags. This is from the kit. This is from the kit. And this is Artie Mays. Now, what is it? This was a free one that she gave us in the group when she brought the kit, Spring Mist, when she brought the Spring Mist kit out, which is beautiful. So it's a freebie, but there is a gorgeous kit that goes with that. I won't put them in there because they'll get bent. Okay, so that's all we've got there so far. I've also got some bigger corners to go on the corner of the journal. I've seen those before, I'm sure. And I thought a book plate will go on the front as well. And that's all I've collected together, really. Just a few more book pages from what I've been cutting in the bottom of there from the fairy books. Okay, so that's all the ephemera you've seen, ready to go. I'm sure we'll make more along the way, but uh, for now that's it. Um, so the pages. And I had a look at this book. I think I shared this book with you a long time ago when I first got it. Um, and I fell in love with it. It's not a Flower Fairies one. And then I completely forgot about it when I got all the Flower Fairies ones. Um, but I want some book pages from the books to go in... Uh, to make full pages in in the journal so i started looking through the fairy books because i've got quite a few now and then i remembered this one so i've pulled some of the pages out now better cover that over in case you can see it because it might have been your book <laughs> i don't know right it's got some people's names in the front of who bought it for who isn't that gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so i, I was looking for pages to put in amongst that and every other one of these pages in this book is an absolutely beautiful illustration. Just gorgeous. So I was originally just going to have a single page and put it that way. But they're so beautiful and I got them out as double pages. I thought it might be better to, if I can, get a um, you know right size like that and get two joined. Because they've got beautiful... We've got beautiful page edges. So then I had to choose. So here I am going through. I think I only took the first signature out because that was bad enough to choose from. Look at that with the mouse in the rain. Raspberries. That one kept, was at one of the front ones that was glued in so it came out single, but isn't that beautiful? I'm wafting them about too much. It's gone really dark here. We have I've had to wait to film because we've had loads of rain and it went really, really dark. I'm hoping it's light enough for you to be able to see uh, that one. So I really couldn't choose. It was I was really struggling until I turned this page. And you can see I've cut it down because I was seeing what it would look like as a whole page. And this is the one I'm going to use. Isn't that lovely? I don't know if you can see it all. Let me go across. It's a... Um, fairy wedding oh and i love those beautiful colors and i think the reds and the obviously the wed the color of the wedding dress and the white bridesmaid flower girl uh, will go with the papers as well so i decided that had to be my center for the journal and then i was like oh i'm gonna cut the groom off or what am i going to lose and then i decided i don't have to lose any of it if i fold it in wherever the page might be. It can go in as a whole page. And then when you get to the middle, you can open it out and see the whole panoramic view. So that is going to be the middle page folded over in its entirety. So that's one. Okay, so I don't want to put any more in from that because I think that one's enough on its own. Um, what other page was I thinking? There was something else I was gonna put in it. Maybe it was from this one. This is one that I bought, yes it was. This is the one that I bought the other day that is a Flower Fairies, Flower Fairy Friends uh, book. And again, I only took out the first signature. Don't want to use it all at once, do I? So there were really only two, two pages that I wanted to use. If you remember, it had, it was like about whispering secrets and it had lots of holes in the pages as they 
peep through to the next page to see what was happening. And I thought I might include those, but at this moment in time, I've decided I don't want any any of those holes. I need to think about that. So those two pages in the first signature that I couldn't decide between, so that's what I'm going to decide now. So this one, again, it's a beautiful page, but there's plenty in the middle if I cut it down. Um, not too bad on that side either, but it is the front page, so I've got the actual title of the book there. But, and obviously it'll be cut in half, but you know, I can use that page then to put pockets and things on, is what I'm thinking. Then all the things on the right hand side I can f that we're cutting off, I can fussy cut and use the fairies. So that's the possibility. And this was the other one, which was another page without a hole in it. <laughs> is that, I'm not sure what flower that is. It's not Snapdragon, is it? No. No idea, but gosh, what a look on his face. Cute. Um, but when I get to the middle page, I'm not sure how much of the actual... I might might manage one of each fairy, but they might be a bit chopped off. I don't know. Sweet, aren't they sweet? So I think I've just about talked myself into that one now. So we'll go with that one. So let's get them to size and get the signature looking like something so I'm not going to go with lots of um, I'm not going to go with any coffee dyed paper or anything like that in this one because these pages um, they just don't need anything and I think by the time we've got 12 pages in here uh, and the ephemera because the ephemera a lot of it is quite chunky ephemera I just don't think it needs anything that they're plain enough for writing on the ones that I leave for journaling on that looks upside down to me. It was. Better check that they're the right way up. Okay, so I'm just going to go with the pages, the doily and two of these. And that will be it because when we fill it, it's going to be uh, chunky enough. So, just get this middle page and see how far off height-wise we are. I mean, it can be a little bit longer than this page, but... Oh, so I can probably take some of the top off. There's not very much. Can you see that? There's not very much happening on the top of that page. So I think if I fold it that way out and line it up on my mat. Yes, there. So we're that way out. We see how much. Oh, just the top of the gonna cut through the butterfly maybe might have his head and his hand in it that has got an actual face that butterfly but I don't know how much higher I can go so maybe about 5 10 15 20 I think 22 might be too much I think we're gonna have to go with 21 Oh, sorry, that deafened you. I'm certainly not a quiet crafter, except when I'm talking to myself. So line it up, because I only have a small um, guillotine, I don't have a big one, but I find that this, this works fine. The only trouble is I'm really close to the uh, tripod. I hope I'm not going to knock you. Let's see how we go. I'm at a bit of an angle because I'm trying to miss you. I think we did okay. So I'll turn it back the right way out and see how we're going to have to fold it over. I'll just... I don't know how to crease it back. Sort of there, do we think? Let's just try it and see. It's the only thing I can. That's my little bone folder gone broken out. I've got a few skin 
Okay. I can always tidy the edges up later when we actually put the signature in. That's going off there a little bit. I think that's near enough. Okay, so they're going in, not out. Excuse me. That was me squeaking on the bat. Okay, so the front picture's quite nice then. So that's what you'll come to in the book. It's going to be the middle page. Oh, it's quite bigger all round. I think it'll fit in the cover though, so that'll be fine. Um, some of these pages will have lace and trims on the end. And then you'll come to that. That's quite a nice picture, isn't it? And then the middle will open out to that. Yeah, really like that. Lovely. Okay, so that is the middle. Might have some lace down there as well because it where the signature was sewn in. There are some tiny holes. I might find some really thin, delicate lace for down there. Lovely. But that's definitely the centre signature. So let's get the other page cut and then we can start deciding what order we want them in. Oops. So this one needs to be, again I'll turn it the other way out so I can see what I'm, this one needs to be a lot more similar size to this one. So what are we cutting off there? Right across that young fairy's face. Well not, maybe we could just move it back a little bit. So we do actually get her face. Are we right across that young man there? You. I haven't worked out about the U. There are, there's two letters in the alphabet flower fairies that doesn't have, I presume there are no um, fairies, no flowers beginning with U. I forget what the other one is. I think it might be X, the other one. Um, just moving microphone wire, it seems to be. All right, sorry if it crackled. Well, we might just get him in. Okay, so what's this side going to look like? Somebody up the tree whose legs we're just going to... I think we're just going to have to go for it. And then if I have like half a fairy, like we're going to just have legs there. It's going to have to be covered with lace or um, a pocket or a tuck or something. I think it's the only, thing, the only way I can do it. I'm never going to, these books are just so full of images, I'm never, I wonder if you could even see up there. I'll show you again. Okay, so this chappy is going to have his head, and head and shoulders cut off. So what have we got? I've forgotten what the pages are. They are in centimetres, 13 by 19 and a bit, nearly 20. So let's see where 13 takes us. Am I on the square there? No. There. Can you see if I come back to that one? Okay. 13. Let's try 14 to start with. Just this side of 14. Yeah. We're not putting any faces then. I really don't want to cut their faces. There's one that can be fussy cut there. Oh, two on that side. So I'll have to choose. Although she's lost a hand. Oh yeah, that don't look this young lady doesn't look too bad, does she? So what's what have we got on this side though? Just some hands coming in with a flower. So I think that's that's fine, that's not too bad. So what did we say this way? Not quite 20, so let's go 20 centimeters and see what that brings us oh. oh excuse my rumble tum again and a square okay so you stayed in it yeah, 
like I say, that one will, will be covered. The fairy whispers bit of it will be covered. And again, this will probably need a thin piece of something just to strengthen it a little bit. It's really only this, this head here that's missing on here. We can just put something over this flower fairy. Lovely. Okay, so that's another page. Sorry, I'm just sat admiring it instead of getting on, which is what I keep doing with these pictures. So let's have a look what we've got. We've got our centre, which is bigger than the rest. Oops, don't rip it. We've got these and we've got this. So which one do I want first? Okay, let's go. So some of them have got like lined pictures and some lined. Okay, so I'll try and go a lined and then a picture. So that was a picture one, wasn't it? Lined one. That's very similar to the front one, but it is. Is it different? It looks the same. Oh no, it's different at the back. Okay, so we'll have him there. So we'll maybe have the doily over that one because it's the same similar picture at the front. So doily there before. Now I don't know if that's going to look strange so big in the middle. I'll have to have another look at it and maybe it's definitely going to be wider because of where I folded it. I'm not folding it again, but oh, we've still got a page going here and we've still got this. So it's plainish. So shall we go with that one in there? Again, a little bit bigger. I think I'll know better if I like them all the different sizes when I get some uh, lace stitched on the ends of some of the pockets. So where do we want one of those? Let's just look through it then. So we've got picture and then that will have something on there, but it's a flower fairy book. Some nice journal in space. Blues. Maybe there before the doily. What have we got inside? A creamy colour, yeah. Let's have. Yeah. Make it too difficult. So normally I would put some book page, you know, as in uh, text and maybe some. Um, gosh, I can't think of things today. Yeah, some music paper and maybe some tracing paper, but I'm not going to go with any of that in here. I'm just going to let the pages and the fairies work the magic and hope it it turns out how I'm envisaging it. And if it doesn't and it needs a lot more, I've got lots more stuff left to create another one. OK, so this is kind of like our prototype, I guess. So let me share with you the journal cover she says wondering what what she's done with it oh oh here it is okie doke put that over there so sorry but i did do it without you um but i had to because it was on the sewing machine sorry not too i hope we're not too giddy now you in view way up there it was on the sewing machine and it was what i've covered it in is this really stretchy material as you can see look so stretchy it doesn't go back it just curls okay so i you know and i had to i had to fight with it a little bit so there's no way i would have been able to do it on camera but i'll walk through with you what i did and then if a lot of you are disappointed that you haven't seen it i can always have a go at making another one on camera if you just let me know if you want to see it so uh, to start with, this is the other one of those pictures that I said that I downloaded from Artie Mays. And although she's not a fairy, I just really liked, well, I liked the sepia colour of it with the, the flowers actually in proper colour. And she looks, she looks like a fairy to me. I mean, you can't see her back, so she might be. You can't see her wings. I just thought, as soon as I saw her, I thought, oh yeah, that's just what I want on the front of that journal. And I thought maybe a book plate, what did I do with those? Which is why I showed you these. Maybe a little book plate. 
open. And I might even just put a couple of tabs in that somebody could stick in and decide what they want in it themselves. And these will be tricky, but they will tidy the corners up when I get to them. So some nice corners. Because as you can see, they're, uh, they were tricky to get square and they're not. Okay, so that was me vision. Um, so it was the stretchy material and it is a piece of Amazon packaging cardboard. So very similar to the folio that you saw me do yesterday. And all I did was cut the, the flap off. Okay, so it was a nice square piece of cardboard. And then I covered it by putting a piece of material across the front, just like I did the, um, the wallpaper. I turned the edges in with a bit of glue. And then I stitched a piece of this stretchy, <laughs> it's not easy, on the machine, the right size. Um, what did I do? Yes. Then I, I, I stitched this front piece round first. Then I stitched the back piece and then I stitched it on. Um, as you can see, it was tricky in places. It stretched and it went all over the place. Uh, but junk journals are supposed to look like that. That's all part of the the strange odd um, sewing, etc. is all part of the, the magic of them. I did put some cotton material inside the crease on the front. Um, and it didn't, I thought when I'd put this on, it didn't need it on the back and it didn't, it was fine. But because this was one piece of stretchy material, it would, it would, I don't know how to describe it. Like a pair of tights or stockings, I suppose. It would pull, it would pull up and it would move about. So I've stitched this piece of ribbon, which actually has got, I love it, it's gorgeous. And I'm not, I'm not going to trim it, I don't think. I'm going to leave it out on the back part of it. So I won't be going through it with the signature. It's on the back part of the book, if you can see, so that it stands out, so it you know looks pretty. And I just did two rows of stitching down it. And I think some, I think I will have something on the back of the book as well. Um, I just haven't decided what yet. It'll come to me, no doubt. On the front, uh, the labels were showing through, and the name, the Amazon logo, etc. So perhaps if I did it again, I might gesso it or cover it in white paper. So that was that. So fairly happy with it. It's a nice, fairly rigid, but still a soft journal. So I think this is going to go nice in there. And it looks a little bit lost, but when we get all that ephemera in it. So then I decided, well, I started to think about what I could do on the front and the back. Uh, and I just watched a video this morning, um, Julie, <coughs> Ooh, Julie and Camilla Craft, design yeah camilla craft design um was, was i think she was doing this or did she show was it no i think she was doing it anyway this um i've got something to put in the pockets just to show you it's just a double pocket out of card and it can be free floating or you can fasten it in i'm going to fasten it in because i I didn't like the back of the uh, scrapbooking paper. But then I thought, wouldn't a couple of those be nice inside here, actually fastened in, glued down, um, add a little bit of strength and just something a little bit different. Obviously, I'm not choosing those colours. So I have got some papers that I thought would go in there. So I'll show you quickly how she made it, I think, I'll try. Um, but I will link below uh, if I can do it, I've not done it before, but I'm sure I should be able to, to her uh, video of it on YouTube doing it. So I don't want it too close into the edge there. But I thought it might cover a lot of that up as well. So I'm not going to sew it on, I'm only going to stick it in. But I think it'll look different when the corners are round and it's got its notches out and it's got its uh, stitched round. So I'll just show you quickly how she did that. But I would advise you to go and watch her because she's very, very good and very precise with her crafting and I'm a little bit gung-ho. So I've cut them ready so I didn't have to keep knocking the uh, uh, tripod while I was crafting and I've made it, I've measured it, 22 centimetres that is, by 15. Um, 
I'm going to have to round the corners. Oops. Just gives it a bit more of a finished look, I think. And the same with these. So this was the, this wasn't, but this was the off cut from here. And I've got another one for the back. So I just have to find another little off cut that would go. Probably recognise the navy blue from the folio I showed you earlier. But I thought the wood looked quite nice on there. I mean, you could use um, three completely different, uh, two completely different colours all together. You can use book page. You can do it with anything you want. It's brilliant, uh, brilliant pocket. I think she's done them before. I think I've seen her do these before. I might be wrong. I've definitely seen them somewhere before. I think it was Julie actually. But um, so there's probably other videos up there as well. But it it just happened to when I was looking for something for it. I just oh I've just seen something this morning that would work. So I need to ink the edges. So I did say that I was I'm not going to ink a lot of the stuff in this journal. But when you cut, especially scrapbooking paper, which this is from, this is just a pad from the works, I think, which is a cheap shop in the UK. And I think it was three pound for, well, I think there's 48 designs. I think it's 24 pages and they're like double sided, I think. So really cheap. those white edges though. I don't think we've got all the way around yet. And it's going to be stuck down so I won't have to do the back. So I'm not looking for the grungy look, I'm just trying to get rid of the white the white edges of the paper. Which would happen naturally over time but I, I want rid of it now. <laughs> I don't want to look at it and think oh look. Yeah it's polka dock on the polka dot on the back that one it's quite nice but not what I wanted in the journal because I could have turned I could have turned that one round and had the polka dots and the and the wood keep turning that round because I want the nails at the top um so one longer than the other um, but to put them together the tops together is that the way around I'm having that to cut the notch out, the thumb hole. Let's see if I can get it in the middle. I'm not very good at middle. But never mind. There's so much because you can be very precise, precision cutting, etc. Or you cannot. It really doesn't matter, whatever's your thing. And precise I'm not. Like I say, Juliet Camellia Crafts is. So if that's your thing, precision. I didn't need to round that top one, did I? That's pretty, isn't it? All I've got to do now is glue them uh, evenly. <laughs> so you've got a straight line. So I need a little bit of precision here. So down there. That's the back. Oops. And that's going on there, isn't it? Yep. I don't want to glue it the wrong way round. And I'm not going to glue across the bottom, I'm going to leave across the bottom open so that the tabs from tags from both pockets can go all the way down. So you can have a tall tag and a shorter tag, or you can have two tall tags. So just bang them on you. Try and get them square that way. Got glue. Leakage now. Of course I have. And I was very good when I made that prototype this morning. I went went off and had a cup of tea and left it alone. So I wasn't messing with it before I stuck it on here. Of course I'm not going to do that now. So here's hoping I don't mess with it. And that just goes on there like that. Let's leave that a little bit longer to dry and put some glue on here. So I can do it in a straight line. I've taken every effort. Oh. Yeah, that's about as straight as you get with me. 
but I just don't make tags that just fit. I give them plenty of room. Where are we going to? It's gone a long way up. Uh, just to compensate for my un wiggly, unwiggly, my unstraight lines, my wiggly lines. Put plenty on the bottom because it gets a bit of pressure when you shove the, the tags in them sometimes. Okay. Not too shabby. neck ache, I don't know what that's all about. Oh, why are we over that way a little bit? Must have cut it a little bit bigger so I can trim it. But it's going down on the page so I don't see what difference it would make. Those uh, notches are definitely not in the middle. Sorry Julie, that's probably drive you mad if you're watching. So obviously it needs decorating up but you get the idea and I think it will just have to be glued in there so I'll have to take my time and, and glue it quite well and get not too close to the, the centerpiece there. I didn't check what time I started filming so I don't know how long I've been but I think that's brought you up to date with everything. Yeah so that page is a little bit long, I might have to readjust that, how annoying. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Mm -hmm. We'll say touch and go. Okay, so already there's nothing in it and it's getting a little bit wider, isn't it, with that, with one of those. I'm going to make one of those for the back as well. Obviously, it'd be slightly smaller because of the ribbon. Um, and that'll be it. So we can sew it in and start filling it, working out what ephemera we need. So I've got pockets and tags, that's all I've got. I like to put something a little bit more interesting in it as well, so I don't know, we'll have to have a think about uh, whether we put a tip in or I don't know, some secret German space or something. We'll have a think. But once again, with these Janie B papers, <laughs> the papers on their own are gorgeous. And the pages from the Flower Fairies book are gorgeous. So it's not going to need an awful lot. Another one of those on the back. Maybe a pocket on the back so we can get some more Flower Fairy uh, ephemera in there. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed seeing it so far. And uh, comment below anything, any thoughts and feelings about it. Uh, what you'd like me to do. What you'd like to see me do with it. And I'll hopefully see you again tomorrow. Thanks ever so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up please. Bye-bye, have a lovely day.